Well, I'm back again, so I am just going to um, paint. This is the background for the horse, and it's meant to be. Um, I'm going to shut the door here. It's going to be in the sky. <laughs> Strange. Okay, it's going to be in the sky. Um, so we're going to have to do. I've already put a bit of colour in here, sort of semi-drying but not quite dry. So the good thing about acrylics, they dry really, really quickly. sound of paint being squeezed out of a tube, in case you're wondering. So, just putting lots and lots and lots and lots of paint on. And, as I said before, the white is very, very thin. And it's frustrating me because it's not covering like I want it to. And my wee canvas is not on straight. Hold on. This for me, actually, a guy, a local guy, made it out of wood and stained it dark um, and put my initials on it, which is really sweet, for a really, really good price. He's an artist himself and he wanted to encourage me, so he made me this to put my um, canvases on. And I'm um, delighted with it. Absolutely delighted with it. It's nice to get something new for you. You know, for very little money. And um, you know, that is, that is really what artists should be doing. I think we should be helping each other. And I try, I mean, I do try to encourage other artists. We have started a little WhatsApp group with two other ladies who do completely different. One's a sculpt sculptor and the other lady does um, collage, collage, yeah. Turn up with pieces of things and sticking them on and making pit paintings. So that's nice because you can always compliment each other in art. You know, you're never going to get somebody that does anything similar to you. This is the wonderful thing about being creative. No two people are ever going to be the same. Um, yeah, so it's absolutely beautiful outside today. But it's May the 12th and um, it's gorgeous outside. And I must admit, I um, I do love the sun. I love the summer and the spring. Not a great fan of the winter. Um, so I did do a lot of painting in the winter time. So that is one thing you do get sort of you can get locked away in your house over the winter, which is nice. But I'm also a social person, so I do miss people big time. Um, so that's the downside. So really, there's no point in me working at this because what I'm doing is just pushing paint around until the paint dries um, and sets a little bit. Then I can work a wee bit more at it, but at the minute I'm just going to let it dry and wash my brush. There's another thing. What do you do with brushes? If anybody knows what do you what, what do you do? Do you wrap them in cling film, tin foil? Do you wash them every time? Actually, this is just a lid of um, a plastic container, and I should have I forgot. I usually put. Um, tin foil on it and just put my paint in that and then just lift the tin foil out off and thin it. Um, so I must do that but I will be in touch there's five minutes so I don't want to go over 
I do not want to go over that more than I thought it is, so I will be back and uh, this will be on YouTube. <laughs>